I noticed a lot of Arduino projects that have a serial interface with a PC for displaying or even interacting with a keyboard talking over serial to the Arduino, a lot of them use processing as their environment. So I thought I would finally look into it, mostly driven by my desire to do serial logging. I only started playing around with this yesterday. Just looking at the basics here, we're on version 3 now. This first started in 2001 and I never heard of it until this year. And my understanding is the purpose of this platform is to make programming accessible and easier for people, especially who aren't necessarily programmers, but this allows the gateway into that world. And this has led to the development environments for things like Arduino and wiring and stuff like that. So processing also uses the sketchbook format. And like Arduino, it's all set up so that it's easy and fast to come up with working designs. So as a result of processing, we have things like Arduino and Fritzing. Arduino obviously uses sketches as well and makes programming easy to get started in, especially with all the open source examples. And of course, Fritzing makes it very easy to draw schematics and visual representations of circuits. I only installed this for the first time yesterday, so I got the latest version, 3.4. But they do have other stable versions, like version 2 and version 1 are here. Version 2 goes back to the 2014 era. And if there's one thing I've learned in the past two days, it's that upgrading this environment between major versions may break a lot of sketches. And that's what I've been struggling with for the past two days. I go online and I find examples that were from 2014, 2012, 2015, and mostly they worked on some version 2 variant. I'm using the latest version 3, and it's not working, or it's giving me actual error messages, or it's just launching a pop-up box that does nothing. And even if I have an error, I don't necessarily know how to fix it. I've even tried downloading the version 2 to run alternately to version 3 because I can just launch whichever one I want. They don't really interfere with each other apparently. Still doesn't necessarily fix it. So it could be anything. It could be because if it's Java based and things have changed since the past several years, maybe I just can't easily roll back. So I've been struggling, but I'm getting somewhere. So I found this page. This is the most basic thing I was simply trying to accomplish. So I'm not even going to show my circuit or draw a schematic. It's basically this, an Arduino Uno with analog zero having a potentiometer to five volts and ground. And I just wanted to be able to plot the serial data on a processing box like this. So this is dated August of 2013 and it looks very straightforward. Here's some sample code and it's based on Arduino tutorials. So it looks very easy. It was originally done according to this in 2005. It was updated 2008. And now this person, I don't know if they did much. It was modified in 2012. So it should have worked, I guess, back in the processing two days. It just initializes things, serial port, screen size for a little pop-up window, tell it what your COM port is and what speed you want to open the port at, set up the screen and just wait. From my understanding, void draw is the same as the loop in the Arduino sketches. So you have a setup and then you have draw instead of loop. So now I had a problem trying to run this on processing three, but because of all the hassles I was having in the past day, I think I saw right away what was wrong and I fixed it. So here it looks like maybe there's serial interrupts or something. So the main loop just does nothing. And when serial data appears, it will come over and trigger this routine. So then they go in and read the port and look for an end of line or a next line character and then strip it down and get uh, an analog from 0 to 1023 coming in from Arduino on the serial port and they map it to the height of their pop-up box so they can scale the data and plot it and then they do the plotting but this didn't run. Now the reason I wanted to get this one working is because it's more like an actual oscilloscope. 
I saw an even simpler graph tutorial, but it kind of just drew lines from the bottom up to whatever the height is, so the area under the graph was filled in solid and it looked ugly. So I saw this sketch and thought, hey, I want to get that going. So based on my research, the problem with this it's no longer nice to be doing things like drawing graphics in a serial routine. This stuff should be in the main draw loop, and then anything just out in the serial event should be only getting the string and parsing it, whatever. So that's what I did. I took this stuff out and threw it in the draw loop, and it suddenly worked. I found this thread somewhere. Somebody was trying to get this simple sketch working. This initializes a serial port. It has this serial event that goes in and gets data from the serial port when it's available and parses it down. And then they set a flag that there is new data. And then I guess back in the main draw loop, you just got something from serial, go in here and then do whatever it takes to draw that line on the graph. So that sketch worked. I copied it over into here. It's that simple sketch. But look what it does. It does the ugly oscilloscope where it draws lines from the bottom up to the height of your data. So I'm changing my pot right now, min, max, and everything in between. They're taking my analog data of 0 to 1023, but it's filling in the area under the curve. So at least I was happy enough getting a processing sketch this one here to work, but I wanted more of an oscilloscope, so that brought me over to this one. So also this looked very familiar. It kind of looked like this example drawing the area under the graph. So I took the concept of this, only go into the serial event and do serial stuff, set a flag, then in the main draw loop, do the drawing if there's new data. Knowing that this sketch, if it worked, Whatever way they're drawing, they should be drawing a proper oscilloscope. I hacked this with this and ended up with this. Okay, so after mishmashing all of that together, I've got my Arduino code opening a serial port at 9600, so I've got this as well on processing. This is my specific COM port, so I put that there. And the analog data being sent over serial is terminated with this new line character, so the processing sketch is set to look for a new line character, and then they know there's data and they go and parse it out. So it sets up the screen. I don't understand enough about processing yet and how they draw graphs and how they do or don't draw the area under the graph, but whatever. Brute force, learn as I go. This part here is the main part I was copying from the example I saw where they draw what looks like more of an oscilloscope. So I threw that in here. Down in the serial event, I only do string parsing from the serial port, taking in the data, converting it into a float number, mapping it over from the analog data numbers to the screen, and that's it. So when I run this, it pops up the window. It actually gives me this error I don't really understand, but it's running. So I'm changing my potentiometer, for, and it's going 0 to 5 volts, which is 0 to 1023, which is scaled to 0 to the height of this window, and there's my data. And it'll just clear the screen and draw again. So that gives me new opportunities, like I can take this data and make a fancier interface, or, you know, if I'm not doing just a plot like this, a lot of sketches have fancy gauge graphics and they can just take the number data and move a needle. Or you can save to file if you want to do data logging and then be able to recall it. Now I want to flip over to Arduino, so I'm going to close this serial monitor. This is the sketch I'm using in Arduino. It just starts a serial port at 9600, reads the analog port, sends it out over serial, and then it sends that next line character, so processing will know there's data, and then I just did a quick delay. So if I turn on my serial plotter over in Arduino, ready to read my changes on the potentiometer, but, you know, this is just a visual, I can't really do anything else with this. And it's got that auto-scaling thing, so I'll close that. And that's one main advantage to doing it in processing. I can process the info with a lot more flexibility. Having gotten that simple 
single channel oscilloscope looking plot on processing, I thought I would like to find something a little more advanced, so I stumbled on this real-time plotter. But as with my problems trying to get old processing sketches to work, this looks like it was developed for the version 2 era, and I found there's a simple interface here that I could make it run. Then there's this more advanced one where you can actually send info back out over the serial to Arduino as well as reading in and plotting from Arduino serial. This totally didn't run and I looked it up and a lot of people are saying the same thing and the author confirmed, oh yeah, doesn't work on processing 3, he doesn't have time to update. So although I got this reading and plotting only version to work on processing 3, it was kind of slow. I don't know why. It could be anything, because this could be a Java issue, it could be a processing issue. I thought, is it because it doesn't like doing six channels at once? Is it too slow? But using the exact same data coming out of Arduino and just viewing it on Arduino's serial plotter, it's instantaneous. I can change my analog potentiometer and it does a real-time update. But on here it might lag a bit. Sometimes it'll work a lot better. But it seems like the more things the computer's doing, the Arduino serial plotter can keep up. This actually started going really slow as I was doing a screen recording, and so I couldn't even demonstrate it. It could be because this was written years ago, and maybe aside from a different processing environment, which I know sketches can be sensitive to, maybe even just different Java updates over the years, maybe some things are less efficient, and should be revised in how they're doing things. But again, I can at least learn things from this and I can get simpler things to work. So all in all, this is a pretty good result for a first attempt at trying to get processing up and running. And mostly with all of the open source efforts, I'm able to just go and find a sample sketch that approximately does what I want. And there's lots of resources out there and help that can be found to keep learning. Now I have more than the basic Arduino serial plotter if I want to do more advanced things at some point in time.